Hey guys, so I got a question about how to use our truck unit. Um, and it'll be just a good reference point. Dan oh, it's like I'm in heaven. Um, anyways, I figured it'd also just be a good reference from so you can see how most of these work. Um, now I wish I would have done this before I deleted everything on my truck unit, but I'll show you how it works anyways. All right. So this is our track unit. Um, we have three things. We have our GPS, we have messages, and we have our logbook. Um, so here we'll go to messages. We'll go logbook first. So you can see on the logbook here, time, whatever. We've been on off duty now for an hour and fourteen minutes, sitting at Publix. So we've used seven hours and all twelve minutes out of our eleven hours we can drive. Nine, nine hours and 30 minutes out of our 14 hours and 41 out of our 70 hours. So I might as well also use this real quick to teach a little bit about logbook. So you've heard me about the say about like the 70 hour rule. So if, if you still don't understand, I can only drive 70 hours in eight days. So I can drive basically 29 more hours this week before I have to reset. But if you click here, I, if it's, truck unit freezes up a lot there we go so now you can see down here it says pickup hours click on that at noon or at noon at midnight tomorrow I'll regain six hours and one minute so tomorrow I'll be able that will be down to 41 for you 30 what 35 you know like 35 hours I'll use 35 hours okay so we'll go back from that all right, messages, and they're blowing me up because I forgot what I'd not do. We have not received your post trip, so I have to go and do it, edit my log and do a post trip. Okay, now I accidentally deleted the. Um, I accidentally de deleted the uh, load information. What happens is they send you load information. Um, it says where I'll where you're going, what you're doing, what you're picking up, has your trip number and whatever, and then it comes up with stops. And it sends your stops, it sends you stops. So it says like this is, I went and got fuel, and this is where I stopped last night, at the Pilot Travel Center, I-75, exit 50, 60 Tifton, Georgia. So then I hit start, and it comes up on the GPS, and it routes me and then once I'm done with that once I get there it has like all the different kinds of maps then you just hit that again go back and then Publix which is where we are now and you hit start and that's how I got the Publix sends it just straight to the GPS so that's basically all the truck unit does it's really easy to operate um, and then now like with this track unit what you can also do here is go here find points of interest and then search all and say you want to find like Publix oops the the letters are really small if you have something like this the best thing to use a pen Pub. Anyways, so Publix, oh, and there it is. So there's Publix, 1.1 mile away. Hit set destination. And, oh, I don't know what co-pilot is. But anyways, it sends us to Publix. Um, so that's pretty much how I use the track unit. All right, so when you do your e-log, if you want to go on duty, you go up here, you click off, go to on duty, next, and then pre-trip poster, whichever one you're doing, fuel, safe haven. We may have to do safe haven tonight, it's going to depend. Um, if you're going to sleep or birth, sleep or birth, off duty. And if you go off duty, you can actually hit next, PC, is if you use your truck without a trailer for personal use. Um, 
So that's that. And this tells you everything you need to know about upcoming, how much longer you have. So you end up eight hours of off duty, 32 hours, 34 minutes off duty, and then the pickup hours, which I'll sh which you'll see or have already seen. I'm not sure. I realized I forgot this, and so now I'm putting it in. So it'll either be before or after, but you'll see it. Uh, graph. This is the graph. This is like when you do your log books at Redmaster or wherever you go to school. What you draw. This is what. This is how it comes up on here. You have to sign them. Click sign. Sign logs. Yes, and it signs them. Um, when you do like a pre-trip, it. Well, I can't do it right now, but it comes up with a form that you click yes and you agree that everything's working fine. Oh, if you have any questions about your load, you can hit shipping. Has your truck number, trailer number, shipping, document number. So that's easy to find. Um, info. This is once again how many miles I've driven today. Uh, truck trailer. DOT number, shipping document number. So I mean they have everything you need on here. Um, and then I'll go, I'll just show you real quick also. Um, in the notes or in the communication section. You can also do if you whenever you send in a form you hit form message and if you just need to uh, like just talk to your dispatcher you just hit free form and then you just send them a message that way so that's really easy to do it's sometimes it's easier than calling them especially if you don't know who's gonna be on the other end of that line so that that's um, a little bit more about the track unit So we're basically just waiting here at Publix now. It's taken a while. I got here about an hour early, which was nice, but, you know, it's now I could have been sleeping, as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, I've been eating goldfish. Don't you hate when you eat goldfish and or any kind of crackers and they get stuck up in your teeth? Ugh. Can't stand that. So I'm trying to make my videos more, like, actual personal, like, talking, with, talking as opposed to just... So this is how you slide the tandems. Um, so yeah... Oh, another thing to watch out, I forgot to tell you guys. There's some douchebags. Like, I pulled into this spot right here, just out in the middle of the row. Remember why I told you not to do it at a truck stop? That's what I'm doing. If you didn't watch that video, it's down there. Um, um, I just pulled up, and there was some douchebag who was pulled into an actual parking spot. But he was, like, knocked on the door. Apparently, he was in such a hurry to move that he pulled out. He wanted me to move so he could pull out. He was bitching the whole time on the freaking CB. And then all he did was swing up and pull two spots over that way. I was like, you're an idiot. So just watch out for people like that. And don't become like people like that. If I turn this off, will it do any better? Eh. Not really, no. Um. So, yeah. Um. Oh, that's about it. <laughs> probably still gonna be in Florida I'm sure I'll be in Florida tomorrow because I'm gonna be here tonight but I don't know what I'm doing yet um I'll keep you guys updated oh got a couple shirt logos um I, I probably should make a deadline for that um send them in within like the next week so we can start voting on them the ones I've seen are pretty good um I'm trying to think what else I can make a video on I'm kind of running out of ideas right now so feel free to that's send me more ideas um i just got a couple hours ago someone requested this video so i made it real quick i will see you guys later have a great night thank you so much for watching subscribe oh although i i kept saying it's this way but i think it might be that way because i think the image is flipped i don't know it's somewhere down there subscribe like comment thank you guys so much for watching have a great night